One of the great problems of uh, trying to become a better photographer these days is that we're overwhelmed. We're uh, washed away by this tidal wave of images of photography that we see all the time on the internet, on the TV, uh, in magazines, in books. And it can be hard sorting the wheat from the chaff. Now, I'm not being a photography um, snob here, but definitely, you know, there are great photos um, and great photographers. Um, and it's all too easy to kind of look at okay photos and mediocre photos that maybe pass themselves off as great photos. And I think as photographers, as, as photographers who are trying to learn to be better, uh, sometimes we need a little bit of help on focusing on, on those photographers and those images that are really good so that as part of our, uh, uh, as part of our education, if you like, is we make sure that, you know, we're going out and we're taking lots of great photos. We're taking lots of photos because that's really important. But we're also looking at really, really great photos as well. And although everybody can take a great photo, there are photographers out there who in the past and currently are taking really good images. And it's important we look at their work for inspiration, maybe some ideas, maybe to emulate some of the uh, styles and techniques they use, um, so we can then introduce that into our own um, our, into our own style. I'm not saying about copying anybody, but you know, in order for us to get from A to I don't know Z, where our style will be, if we try lots of different things in between, we'll get there. So what I want to do in this video is just share. Um, a few of those photographers. I'll put links to the searches in the in the box down below um, to encourage you to you know to look at these guys and girls' photo photographs because these are great portrait photographs. Um, and I don't know. Let's uh, let's dive straight in. If you if you disagree or you've got some extra ideas, put them in the links. Put them in the comments down below. So here we go. Straight off, ranking British photographer um, takes amazing portraits. Uh, whoop. And again, what I'm in here, these, this is just a simple Google Images search for ranking, ranking portraits. And I've gone full screen. I'm just capturing this using my um, OBS screen capture software just to give us, you know, a great idea of some really good photos. Obviously, it always helps when you're taking pictures of good looking celebrities. Um, but, you know, there's no doubt that these are very interesting and very good indeed. Right, let's dive on to the next one. David Bailey. Here we go. David Bailey himself, famous obviously for the white backgrounds, that sort of stuff. There's Jack Nicholson, Warhol, earlier one of Nicholson, Damon Albarn. You kind of. Again, I'm not going to spend time dissecting their style, how they do it. I'm just showing these purely for inspiration, ideas, and uh, so that you know you can have a look at some really, really good portrait photography. Let's jump into the next one. Richard Avedon. Maybe one of the best? Arguable. But let's have a look. His personal work can be quite challenging, quite interesting indeed. Arnold. Avedon himself. Some of these are a little bit small. Great stuff. Oh yeah, really amazing one of Marilyn there. Annie Leibovitz, one of the modern masters. Stunning portrait photography. Kate, Mer Meryl Streep. Combination of personal and professional work. Early one of uh, DiCaprio. There's a great one to finish on. Who we got up next? Steve McCurry, ah, Afghan girl, one of the most famous portraits ever taken. Does amazing photos of people from all over the world. I mean, look at the colours, look at the eyes. You know, this is where it's at. This is uh, you know, stunning work, stunning. Let's jump over to. 
one of my favourites, Henri Cartier-Bresson. Not that famous for his portrait work, but Tête-à-Tête, -tête, one of the great portrait books of all time. These are Obviously, all these photos look better, bigger. A master of capturing the moment. Probably won't recognise quite a few of these celebrities or famous people from Henri Cartier-Bresson's time, 50s, 60s, early 70s. Yeah, fantastic work. Uh, Coco Chanel, I think that is. Mario, Mario Testino. Still knocking it out today. Uh, always working for Vogue, people like that. Takes pictures of some of the most beautiful people in the world. Um, always helps. But, you know, this is great work. You know, this is, I would argue... Okay, maybe it's, it's not the cutting edge, because, you know, it's got to be uh, acceptable in lots of different situations. But it is um, superb. This is what we should kind of... Maybe we should be aspiring to in terms of quality and capturing the you know the moment and the feel behind the portraits. Lots of Diana here actually. That's a good one to finish on. One of my favourites, Helmut Newton, a bit controversial at times, sadly missed. But again, he took fantastic portraits of people. A few of Helmet. Dennis. Leonardo or Mrs. Thatcher. Ooh, a bit rude. Another one of Angelina. Yeah, I mean, you know, do I really need to say anything? Um And then so when you want to do these search yourselves, just go to Google. Let's put in Probably one of the best ones, Herb Ritz. Okay, so you go to Google and you put in Herb Ritz portraits, if you can spell portraits properly, and then images for Herb Ritz. Let's get in there straight away, full screen it, and here we go. The master, Mr. Ritz, sorely, sorely missed. Absolutely uh, stunning photographs. Admittedly, again, you know, it always helps when taking photographs of beautiful people. But um, I've got his book, I think it's LA Light. And um, sure, you know, they're great photographs of supermodels and, uh, and celebrities and generally good looking people. But, you know, his images, you know, you can't deny they are. This is, you know, it, it is great, great, great work. Um, in fact, I tell you what, you know, I'm, I'm just going to kind of leave you with one image that I'm going to try and find of Cindy Crawford on the beach. Is it going to pop up? So many good ones. Some are NSFWs. There we go. Jesus. I mean, I would suggest that this photo probably has, um, oh, probably one of the best of all time. So there we go. It's as simple as that. Um, if you want to learn about great photography, if you want to learn about what is great portrait photography, look at the Masters. It's free. It's on Google. Um, and, uh, and you can't go wrong. Just spend a few minutes every day and you'll know what great portrait photography looks like. That's enough from me. If you've enjoyed the video, please like, please subscribe, and I'd be very very uh thankful if you subscribe to my name is rob from rumblefoe.com and i'll see you again soon